So today I will demonstrate uh, platinum resistance thermometer. You know different kind of thermometer. Uh, one basic thermometer we commonly use that is uh, uh, mercury thermometer, right? Then uh, already I have demonstrated another another thermometer that is thermocouple uh, thermometer. So today. I will demonstrate platinum resistance thermometer means the resistance of platinum wire changes with temperature. Now with temper this resistance of the platinum is very sensitive to the temperature. So if we can measure the change of resistance with temperature and and then one should calibrate this uh, resistance of the platinum and the temperature. Then this platinum resistance can be used to measure the temperature uh, of, of any unknown temperature. Uh, just taking the uh, reading of the resistance of the of the of the uh, platinum. Wire. Uh, so, uh, basically, this is the basic principle of this platinum uh, thermometer, but uh, we need proper arrangement for this. So, so, this is the experimental setup for, for platinum resistance. So, uh, so, first we should try to find out where is that platinum wire. And that platinum wire, we have to, we have to, we have to uh, see the change of resistance of that wire with temperature. So that arrangement, basically, this is the arrangement. So what are the arrangement I need? I need basically platinum resistance, uh, platinum wire, okay, and then that wire the temperature of that wire I have to change for that I need arrangement. So basically here, here this is the in this tube this platinum wires are there. So it is difficult to see it, but I have I have another piece of this uh, tube. So I can show you. So this is the old one. I can just open it and I will show you what, what are the things is uh, inside. So, so this basically I can, so here you see on a mica foil, on a mica foil this wire you are seeing, this rounded wire you are seeing. So this wire is basically this platinum wire, this is the platinum wire, okay. So I think few turns are there, few turns are there and it is on a mica sheet. Mica is basically insulator. So, uh, so and also we have to make sure that this wire they should not touch each other in, in, the, in the middle, okay. So that's, that arrangement is, 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 uh, is done. So just we have, uh, you see, uh, we have uh, uh, made sure that this wire will not touch each other. So this two end of this platinum wire, two end of this platinum wire is is connected uh, here with this screw and this another is here. Okay. So this now this mica foil is attached with this strife with this strife. So this one also we have used the this uh, screw and nut to attach this uh, this mica uh, mica with this uh, with this uh, uh, stripe okay now uh, this two rod this two rod is basically electrically connected with this two end of this uh, two end of this uh, of, uh, platinum wire so now you see these two, these two rod is now uh, it has taken out through this connection. So here it is written. You see, it's a written 
is P is written is P you can see or not yeah it is a P2 written it is P2 I can see it P2 ok and this one is P1 is P1 that means this platinum platinum this, these two are the uh, two end of this platinum wire let us say electric, electrically connected through this through this rod ok. Now another similar two rod are there you know here another two similar two, two, two rods are also there. So, uh, so what is the reason for this two rod this two rod is called the compensating rod because uh, when we will hit this platinum wire. So, this this only only this portion will not be in the in the in the uh, in the in the region where the where we want to measure the temperature. So, it may happen that this part also will be heated. So, any metal it is not only platinum any metal when its temperature changes its resistance will change. So, uh, so uh, here resistance is basically this platinum resistance as well as the resistance of this two rod. So, that whatever from here from here whatever this resistance will measure. So, this resistance will not be the only resistance of this platinum uh, wire it will be the resistance of this two rod also ok. So, two another rod similar rod is put here. So, uh, this is with, as I told this a compensating compensating rod. So, for putting this two rod is reason is that the way the way we will measure it ok using carry Foster base that I will explain. So, there basically we want to we want to subtract this this effect this effect of this additional these two rod ok. So, that is why this similar two rod we have put here. So, here we want to compensate it because or subtract it because this this resistance is not constant this will also change with temperature that is why if if this compensating rod is put here. So, resistance of this compensating rod also will change with temperature. So, these two uh, rod connected with the uh, platinum resistance or platinum wire. So, the way it will change this uh, resistance of this two rod with temperature. So, this compensating rod also will change in the same way. So, thus one can nullify the effect of, 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 of this rod in the resistance of the platinum ok by using this compensating rod ok. So, this compensatory rod is connected at this at this two point. So, here it is written C I think something S written uh, some anyway something is written looks to me or oh, C 1 and C 2 C 1 compensating wire 1 and compensating wire 2 or rod 2. So, these two are basically uh, for compensating rod and the other two is for platinum. Uh, wire ok including this of course, this rod. So, in our this 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 we are telling this thermometer this we are telling platinum resistance thermometer main part of this uh, of this experiment. So, this is the platinum uh, resistance thermometer. So, uh, inside of this water so this this part is there I think this up to this this up to this level. So, that means this not only this platinum wire this other part of this rod also it is in the in the water. So, if we uh, boil this water. So, temperature of this of this platinum resistance as well as this some part of this uh, of this of this metal rod uh, and this other part also will there will be gradient of temperature, but temperature will change ok. So, uh, now, here as I told this two of our platinum uh, connection for platinum wire and two are connected for I think these two are for this compensating rod ok. So, what is the how we will so how we will use these two, 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 
P1, P2 and C1, C2 that will come uh, in later part. So now, so this is the arrangement for the platinum thermometer resistance, platinum resistance thermometer. Now, what we want to do? Our experiment is basically we will heat, we will heat this, this thermometer and temperature will change. Now, we change up temperature, how resistance are changing that is what we want to find out. Okay. So, so, I have to measure the resistance of this platinum wire at different temperatures. So, that is the task. Okay. So, for that, for that basically we are using this carry foster bridge, we are using this carry foster bridge, you know meter bridge, you know wheelstone bridge. Okay. For wheelstone bridge, so basically uh, wheelstone bridge is basically there are four resistance P, Q, R, S, you know whole resistance P, Q, R, S. Okay. So, this is the Wheatstone bridge. Okay. So, this is P, this is Q, this is R, this is S. So, between these two, here this we put this battery and here we put the galvanometer, right, galvanometer. So, this bridge will be balanced bridge when there is no current will flow through this galvanometer. Okay. So, in this balanced condition, this P by Q equal to R by S, right, R by S. So, this carry foster bridge, meter bridge, so basically here you see you need basically four resistance. Okay. In meter bridge, you know there is a wire of 1 meter, then, then you have two gap, you have two gap, okay. you have two gap. So, in these two gap, you can put your resistance P and Q, you can connect the resistance P and Q. And from this point, you have basically, uh, so with some galvanometer, here there is a jockey, you can shift it. Okay. So, this, this part, so now this meter bridge, one meter long, this wire is there, so it has resistance. Now, if this is the balanced condition, so this will be one resistance and this other part will be another resistance. So, this will be basically you can take R and this is right. So, this R of this wire part, if you consider that rho is the resistance of the wire for unit length. Now, there is a meter scale here, there is a meter scale here, there is a meter scale here. Okay. So, when you will get this balance point, so we can get the length of this wire up to this. So, this say L1, L this. So, rest of the part will be you know this is 1 meter in 100 centimeter, so 100 minus L, right. So, now R will be basically rho L and S will be basically 100 minus L. Right. So, so here, of course, you have to you have to connect battery. So this P, this is P Q in between this A, and this is R A. So you have to you have to basically connect battery here. Okay, connect battery here. Okay. So. It is the basically, 
meter bridge, but it will it will follow the Wister bridge principle, right? So similarly, another bridge is called the Cary Foster bridge. Cary Foster bridge. Cary Foster bridge. Okay. So there in Cary Foster bridge, basically you have two more additional. You have two more additional gap. You have two more additional gap. You have two more additional gap. Okay. So I think this gap, the connection will take in such a way. This gap will be, I think, will take connection from here and connection from here. So this part will be added with this with this uh, part of this of this uh, of, uh, of this uh, uh, wire of the meter scale wire of the meter bridge okay so when two additional gap will be there then this same bridge meter bridge then we are telling this the carry foster bridge so there is a purpose for this additional two gap so this gap this now this is p this is q and this, if you put some additional resistance here and here, so this part plus this wire part, this will be uh, R and this will be S, right. So this is the Cary Foster bridge. So now I will show this bridge. This is a bridge. You see this wire, this wire is a one meter long. It's the 100, exactly 100 centimeter. So, uh, so is the is the hundred centimeter. It started from zero to hundred, right? One meter long. This wire is one meter long, and it has it has two gap here. This is say P and this is Q. Okay. So, additional two gap, as I told, this one and this this one. Right now we have just shortened it, okay. We have shortened it, okay. So it's just like meter bridge, okay. It has only two gap. Now uh, think it is of it is meter bridge. It's not carry Foster bridge because now it has only two gap. So now what I will do? I want to measure the resistance of the of the platinum wire right so so what i can do so this p and q so that i have to put somewhere at r at r okay or at s whatever now in i don't if this is not there i don't have option to put that one okay with this this one, this wire, okay, additionally I have to put this resistance so I do not have place to put it. So that is why this I need this gap and here say I will add this platinum wire connection and as I told this I have to I have to mold this compensating uh, rod. So this compensating rod that part I will put here, okay. So in balance condition, so P by Q equal to R by S, somewhere I will get the balance point R by S. So there this platinum resistance plus this rod resistance attached with the platinum wire. So this will come here. So in, in S, this resistance of this compensating wire rod that will be there. So, this resistance of this compensating rod and resistance of the uh, of this of the platinum wire additional this rod. So, that will be nullified balanced. So, all the effectively I will get I will get change of the length in the balance point equilibrium uh, point. So, that because of this basically this uh, uh, the only resistance of the platinum wire. Okay, so that's why this Cary Foster bridge is is required for for this experiment. 
So now you know this uh, p by q equal to r by s that condition I have to I have to get. So I need one galvanometer. So this is p q. So from here as I told p q here this we have to connect this galvanometer. So we have connected this galvanometer. We have connected this galvanometer. Okay. So this part is is connected here and this other one. So this I will take as a jockey. So basically if I just try to find out the equilibrium position when there will not be any current in this galvanometer. So I will find some position. Okay. Now I have to find out the, what is the length is the 64 say. Okay. So, so now the P by Q equal to R by S. So what is the P? Whatever resistance I will put here, whatever the resistance I will put here, that's a, right now it is 5.2. Right now it is 5.2. And it is also, right now it is also 5.2, same resistance. Okay. So P by Q equal to 5.2 by 5.2, right? Equal to 1. So these are equal. Now, you see here just these two part is shortened, right? Now, this resistance of this left side wire and that will be R and resistance of the right, right side of this wire, this it will be S, okay? So, length I know then rho, if I know the rho, resistance per unit length of this wire, then this L into rho that is R and 100 minus L into rho that will be S. So, so, uh, so basically uh, I should get in this condition when P equal to Q and these two are shortened, I should get this equilibrium position at the middle point say at 50. But generally we do not get 50, it is slightly uh, less than or, or greater than 50, right. So because there is a contact resistance, so this oil is connected here, so there is a contact resistance, there is a contact resistance, so contact resistance at this end, so if we consider this resistance is X. And contact resistance the other end if we consider that resistance is Y. So if X is not equal to Y, then you will not get this balance point, equilibrium point in middle. So that first task is to find out this one. Okay? Find out the contact resistance X and Y. Right. So how to find out this one? How to find out this one? So basically what we'll do, so here first experiment we have to do that here we'll take dp and q will not take same, we'll take different resistance. So say here it is 5 and here it is 2. Then we'll find out the equilibrium position. So L1 and 100 minus L1. So P by Q equal to R by S. So this uh, in that in that equation, I know P, I know Q, I know L, right? And there I have to add basically this R will be X plus L into rho, and S will be hundred minus. L into rho plus y, this resistance, right? So L is say known to you, and rho I think rho will go out, right? Rho I just let me let me tell you here. So so first we are trying to find out the contact resistance. R1, uh, sorry, X and Y, contact resistance, right? So P by Q equal to R by S, 
P, as I told, will take two different resistance, so 5.2 and another will take different 2.0, say. Yeah, I think we have one resistance 2 ohm. So this will be equal to then, if I get the balance point as at L, so if I come from this side, so, so zero of this scale, zero I have taken here because this end is connected with the positive uh, terminal of the battery. So that's why, that's why value is uh, we take the zero where we connect the positive end of the battery, okay. So that's why we are taking zero here, then that's other end is 100 centimeter, okay. So if I get balance point at length L, so this x, so in this, in the r will be x plus, plus L rho and y will be 100 minus L, 100 minus L into rho plus y, right? No, no. So, yeah, that also one can take or the just, then it will be just resistance, okay. So, so this, uh, so actually you can tell this x in terms of length and then it will be whole row or if you take this is okay in ohm, x ohm, y ohm, so then just you can write this way, okay. So, but here problem is, 